Hey guys, how's it going? It's just a uh, quick update. I got a boar leg. I actually have two boar legs. I had a uh, colleague that I work with, he came by and uh, just shot a boar on his property and went ahead and brought over some legs. So we're gonna chop the thing up and make some sausage out of it. Two sharp knives, paper towels, sanitized glass table, the bowl, and you got your meat in a trash bag ready to go and running water in a sink. I like to do this stuff outside because it gets pretty messy. This is our chicken harvesting area that we did the uh, chickens with. You guys should check out the video. I'll put a link above and uh, down in the comment section so you can watch it. It's not gory at all. It's uh, pretty easy to watch, but it's a starter video for you harvesting your own chickens, growing them to harvest. So, hope you enjoy. Hey, real quick, um, I've never chopped up boar legs before, just so you guys know, but we're gonna do it together, and it's gonna turn out to be some awesome, awesome sausage. So, let's do it. I'm gonna take that back. I've actually harvested an entire pig, but never a boar, so. Pig and a boar, they're kind of the same thing, but you guys get what I'm saying. All right, first thing you wanna do is uh, open up your meat bag delivery. This was delivered about an hour ago. Oh, look at that thing. This is a solid leg, you guys don't even know. We're gonna wash this baby off. I got two legs. So much meat. Wow, that's all I gotta say is wow. Look at that, won't even stay on the table. Dang, look at that in comp comparison to my head. Tons of meat. Oh yeah, you can never beat fresh meat like, I can't even get this at the grocery store. This was shot, I think, on uh, a couple days ago, actually. I think he cleaned it up two days ago. But look at this thing, it's massive. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. Hi, Benton. Hi. You gonna help Dada? First thing I wanna do is uh, feel around. See what we gotta do. There's the joint right there. You kinda wanna find the joint. You can see what you're working with, but since we're just gonna do, um, since we're just gonna do sausage, I just need it in like pieces that are manageable for whatever type of machine that you're using. So I'm using a KitchenAid. Um, so I'm gonna cut it into manageable slices that can go into the KitchenAid. Some, um, I was actually, I, I got recently from somebody a, old-fashioned like hand-mounted crank sausage maker I'll have to show you guys a picture of it before this video is over but it's pretty rad so I'm gonna uh, I'm finding the bone like I said guys I've never done a boar before oh there we go I got uh, I got Jess on the filming do we want to cook any of this just as like a slab or do you want to just like what do you want to do? This is flipping amazing. I don't even know. I don't even understand what this is. This is a leg. Okay. What is this usually in the grocery store? This is a boar. They don't have this in the grocery store. Okay, but it. This is, is pig. So. So what kind? What would this be in the grocery store? I don't even know. I'm just going for it. Okay. Basically, back in the day, there was no such thing as what kind of cuts there were and stuff. It was just. This is meat, right? Yeah. I think we figured it out. <laughs> this is the ham, because this is the leg. It's this is the ham that you get in the store, and it's usually chopped off, like, right here. Look at that. And I'm holding the ball of the leg. This is the ham. Is this one of those, like, chicken of the sea moments? I don't know what that means. <laughs> chicken of the sea. This is the ham. This is the <laughs> ham. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> I don't do that, but this is the ham right now. That's what, that's exactly what it is. You guys probably already figured it out. You're watching going like, these people have no clue what they're doing or talking about. Okay. Well, in my <coughs> mind right now, all I'm thinking is, wait a second, so ham means a part of the body of a pig? Yes, it's the ham. 
Why it's don't the, they just say the leg? It's got, I don't know. Like, what's a ham even mean? This is like. Who knows? I'm just, I don't even care anymore. I'm just cutting into this thing. Just get it off. What's a ham? It's Not a ham. Really we gotta look it up. If someone knows what a ham is, put it in the com comic se comment section below so we know. What? Where did this term ham come from? I'm sure you could look it up. I'm sure I could. Like yeah. Seconds, but. but it's more fun when other people get involved, right? <laughs> Way more fun. Totally. It's almost there. Oh, look at that. That's the kneecap. I'm going around the kneecap right now. Look at that. I kind of want to weigh this so, like, we know how much meat we just got. Well, I was debating on giving this to Marley, but Jess says no, because we're going to use it for soup. So, you ever cut a leg? Oh, it's so hard to break. It's like breaking like a real leg. Ew, that's so cruel. Well, that's what you got to think. <laughs> I got to cut the, uh, there we go. Ew. Do you hear that? Yes, I do. Oh, oh. That's what it feels like to break a leg. No, that's just bad. That's like, that's like, I just threw up in my mouth a little. Oh, well, there we go. Look. Bone. Kneecap. Bone. That's some good broth right there. We kind of need a separate thing, right? Okay, I'll go get another bowl. Okay, push pause. Hold on, hold on. Let me show them. Look at that. That's like, that's like two tri-tips right there. One more thing that when you're cutting big chunks of meat too, is I like going with the grain. Like there's a wood grain, you know, you can see the lines. When you look at the lines in meat, like this piece, you can see the lines are going this way. You wanna cut that way, because it cuts way easier. Guys. You like the meat? The meat, guys. The meat from the sky? Huh. Yeah? The meat came from the sky? Huh. Yeah. The meat came from a pig. Oh, uh, no. Did you say pig? No, pig. No pig? The pig meat. Bye, bye, bye. Go. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Like, I wonder how many pounds of sausage we're gonna get out of this. You know what we might do too? Should we season it? Like, should we throw in seasoning as we're going through the chopper? Or do you? Check it out, I just cleaned it up and I actually got some pretty good ham steaks. Look at these. I've never done a ham steak before, but like, that's a solid steak. We'll see, like, maybe you chop it up or you cook it, then chop it up and throw it in your eggs. Or is it like, better just to do sausage, I don't know. You tell me. Almost done. Then we're gonna go inside. We're gonna grind this stuff up. Oh, dude, look at that ligament right there. A knife won't even cut it. There we go. I have to keep resharpening these knives because once you hit a bone, it's like done. Check it out, close up, get a close up. Fresh boar off a vineyard, eating the grapes. Dang. So this is technically wine boar. <laughs> wine board. All right, guys, let's go inside. We're going to get cleaned up out here and go inside. We're going to make it into sausage and package it, and then uh, that's a wrap. Quick video.
Two babus. Two babus. Nene bae. Nene. Nene choo choo. Two babus. Kids are going down. Then we're going to start this. Guys, real quick, check it out. So we got our meat. We have our food prepping station. Kitchen aid, boom, look at that. This is an attachment that you can get. We got our tub that it's falling into. And then we have our, this is a food saver. I got this thing at Costco. And you free cut your bags, seal them, and then you just put it in there and get it ready to go. This is kind of fancy. You guys could just do regular Ziploc bags. That's totally fine to put any kind of meat in and throw it in the freezer as long as it's uh, free of moisture and air. So here we go. Making sausage, look at that. Look at all that meat already. Yeah. Crazy. This thing's almost full. Sausage for breakfast. It's gonna be so good. And then sausage. Well guys, check that out. That is a lot of sausage. It probably weighs 15 or 20 pounds. I'll have to weigh it, but uh, we got two slabs and we have, I just washed my hands, but here we go. Check it out, two big old slabs. A pork, and then we have Board, and then an entire container of sausage. All right, guys, real quick, so check it out. You can weigh out your meat, or you can just go ahead and go for it, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab a bag right here. Right here, here we go. Got a bag. And I'm just going to grab some meat out of this guy, and I'm going to put it in the bag. And then, so, Wait, like, say it again. we're going to put the meat in here. Meat from here into here. Oh, wow. You don't even know, like, fresh. If you've never squeezed, like, fresh meat like this in your hand, it's pretty unreal. You guys should try it. <laughs> but here we go. I would weigh it out, but I'm kind of over it. I think we're just going to kind of plop it in the bags and go for it, you know? All right, vacuum seal number one attempt. Hopefully I made the bag long enough. Crush it, line it up, get it in there. Here we go. Um, moist food. Moist, normal. some food. Look at that. Sucked it out and sealed it. It's finished. Put the date on it and just throw that thing in the fridge. It's probably like two pounds right there. Freezer. Freezer. Sorry, not fridge. Freezer. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the quick clip on uh, harvesting our wild boar from a vineyard. Pretty rad. Made some sausages. Got some uh, slabs of meat and uh, we're totally stoked. So subscribe on the left hand side. Any questions, comments, suggestions, please put them below. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Cheers. We even got some meat. Give it a